Hello friend, welcome to the channel as well as you are watching our X form exclusive video series and in this series today we are going to study about the analgesic activity of given drug with the help of tail flick apparatus. To start the practical just click on the object. So this object is based on in silico software that is called X form software. What is the meaning of in silico? See usually we perform experiment on real animal but as per the guidance of different agency CPCACA guideline we need to based on in silico software that that will reduce the particular utilization or dependability on experimental animal. That is why we are encouraging to use such software to understand the concept of any pharmacological experiment. For today's experiment, we have to perform analgesic activity test with the help of tail flick apparatus. So as usual, first of all, we have to understand the basic term used in this experiment and these two terms are analgesic activity and the second one is tail flick apparatus or tail flick analgesiometer. What is the meaning of analgesic activity? Analgesic activity is the activity which reduces the perception of pain in any part of our body. This activity is reversible and it may come again once the activity of drug gets abolished. And second one is tail flick apparatus. It is an apparatus which is based on the principle of flicking the tail of rat. See what let's consider an example when you are cooking something on your pan but all of the sudden your finger or part of your finger touches the hot surface what is your response you will you will flick that particular finger from the particular hot object and try to lick that particular finger so that you may feel cooling sensation that is your basic principle so tail flick apparatus is an apparatus which is based on flicking of tail once the tail portion of your red feel the heat or pain it will try to flick its tail from the particular object so that it may reduce the perception of pain this is the basic principle so now let's start the practical by kicking on this object that is virtual practice now again to start the experiment click here once you will click on this particular part you will see the introduction of the basic experimental protocol here it says the tail flick test is a test of pain response in animal similar to the hot plate analysiometer test which we have already performed it is used in basic pain research and to measure the effectiveness of analgesic by observing the reaction to the heat which we have provided it was first described by D. Amor and Smith in 1941 this was a basic introduction about this experiment now click on the experiment section to start performing the experiment. This is the basic instruction come procedure. If you want to note it down, you may pause the video and take a screenshot. This, this will work as your procedure. Now let's cut this experiment. Now as you can see on your screen, there are 12 rat and we have to perform this experiment in this 12 rat. First of all, we need to administer and separate them as a two group. First one will be the vehicle treated and the other one will be drug treated. So let's start the practical by clicking on this administer button. Vehicle treated groups are those groups which do not receive any medicine. They receive just vehicle. Vehicle means solvent. Whereas drug treated groups are those group of the animal which receive the drug to be tested. Suppose we want to test any kind of extraction from plant source. So that group which received the plant extract is called drug treated group. And if we are using the water to resolve plant extract this is called solvent or vehicle so vehicle treated group will just receive water ad libidum now we have separated the animal into two group vehicle treated and drug treated what we have to do we have to click one experiment at a time let's start from the vehicle treated group so we have placed one animal below the heat providing light sources we have to note at which time the rat will start flicking its tail and that particular time is our response time. As you can see on your display, the response timer stop at 8 seconds. That means the response time of this vehicle treated group for the perception of pain is 8 seconds. Just note it down. And now do the same with all experimental animals remaining in vehicle treated group. So let me fast forward this video. Its response time is 13 seconds. Note it down. Do the same with the next one. Its response time is 13 seconds. Let us move for the another one. Its response time is 9 seconds. Its response time is 14 seconds. There is some bug in experiment. So we have to note as a time given on the screen. And the last one. Its response time is 10 seconds. So we have done with a vehicle treated group. Now repeat the same procedure with a drug treated group. Click the experimental animal from drug treated group and do the same process. Here you will record some fluctuation in time response because we have given analgesic drug and as per our concept analgesic drug will increase the threshold of pain. That means the particular animal who have received the analgesic drug will respond to the pain later time. So this response time is 13 seconds. Do the same with the next. 
meanwhile you can take average but here the all observation will be recorded and will be uh, plotted on the screen after some time response time of second animal from the ducted group is 16 second as you can see there is a hike do the same with next one its response time is 11 second next one response time is 15 second second last response time is 13 second and the final one response time is 14 seconds so we have done with the drug related group 2 it's time to go for the observation so click on the observation tab here you can see the response time taken by the each group vehicle data group all the response has been recorded same as with the drug related group and at the last there is an average value so average response time for the vehicle data group is 11.16 whereas the average response time of drug related group is 13.66 approximately 14 that indicate the response time increase in drug related group that indicate the it is increased Increase in pain threshold just after given that analgesic drug. That means your given drug is having analgesic activity, analgesic property, and we have to prove that particular observation. Now we have proved this experiment. So it's time to go for the conclusion. Now click on the conclusion tab. You will find increase in the average response time in drug treated mice shows that pain threshold is increased in the drug treated mice. That means the given drug or given sample of the extract was found to be analgesic in activity and analgesic in nature. That's all for the day. It was a small but interesting practical. The Hindi version of this video is also available. Please do check in description box. Thank you and take care.